Um, and if you use the self-checkout, you know, to make I'll things quicker. That. I know, I'm always holding up the line. I got all messed line. up with the self-checkout. I got hard. so mad, yeah, yeah. I know, if you don't put it down. I just wanted to walk away. So put this stuff back yourself. I'm going... I'm going to redo this whole thing. Yeah. Um, but when you do self-checkout, when you're buying produce, you have to punch in the PLU code right. that's on the little sticker. Yeah, it's called PLU. Yeah, for uh, fruits and veggies. PLU, okay, I guess that's... <laughs> PLU. PLU yeah. They um, are usually a three or four digit number. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that number means something. I don't know. I see that little sticker thing on the fruit, and I'm wondering, why do they put that on there? Who yeah. puts that on there? How much do they pay the person to put that on there? <laughs> I don't the job could be eliminated. Don't anyway, say that. Anyway, there's information on that sticker that will tell you some... Some important stuff. Important stuff, yeah. Yep. Here's Diane Ryan. Hey, that's right. Good morning, everybody. We're here in Fry's, and we're in the produce department, and it is busy. A lot of people taking advantage of those Wednesday sales. And I'm holding a lemon in my hand, and, and you'll see right here, this is a sticker that they put on it. It's a price tag, but there's also a number there, and those numbers are important. Uh, if, if you're trying to figure out, do I get organic or natural food or uh, or modified food? And we're with a doctor, and uh, he's really good at this. We're we're talking uh, to Dr. Sunil John, and we have a lot of uh, products right here that we're going to kind of show you the difference that we're talking about. And uh, Dr. Jan, this is, uh, we're talking about the price lookup, and that's the PLU, but the, but all of these, um, almost everything we see in here has a number on it. And, and we can see right here between the difference between organic and, and regular food. Why are these, why do they even have these? Well, the, the primary reason for these PLU codes is, is for ease of the checkout counter, at the checkout counter for the clerk to re readily recognize if something's organic or not, um, or if something's conventional grown. So it kind of helps with the pricing inside the, inside the grocery store. Mm -hmm. And some of the things we're talking about are the numbers, and, and they're probably pretty easy to remember. Uh, if you have a four-digit uh, number and it starts with a three or a four, it, as we're looking at right here, this would be then your uh, conventional. Yeah, so, so the conventional... Conventional, the conventional produce and um, fruit basically is going to have a four-digit code, as you see here on the conventionally grown uh, avocado, um, as well as the conventionally grown mango. It's a four-digit code there. Um, and then you see their counterpart, which is the organic version. You can see that the code actually starts with a nine. So if it's a five-digit code beginning with a nine, you know it's organic. And if it's a four-digit code, you know it's conventionally grown. The genetically modified codes are the five-digit codes that begin with the number eight. And, and we don't see any of that here. We looked everywhere to find one of those. And where would you find that kind of food, and, and, and why do we not see that much of it? Well, there's not that many items right now that are genetically modified, but uh, for the sake of the growers, they really don't want, they don't like to disclose that. This is a voluntary uh, labeling system, so it's not something that's mandated by the FDA. Uh, so a lot of those, uh, just like in the United States, one of the few countries that does not require labeling of genetically modified foods, it's, you know, it's, it's not readily seen on the produce uh, as well. And I, and I was looking at the strawberries a little earlier this morning, and I'm going to have you hold one of these, and I'm going to hold the other one. And, and this one right here, we, we didn't see any uh, codes on here, but it says that this is pretty much regular strawberries, conventional. And you were saying right here, if you don't see it, look for a, another, uh, another tag Yes, here. you see here that it's the USDA uh, organic seal on there. And, and really, just because these, the, the codes aren't really policed, uh, that, that readily by the FDA, you still want to look for that organic seal uh, to make sure that it's an organic product. But uh, you're pretty safe if it starts with the number nine. And and you pulled out these uh, these beets as well. What? Why did you pull these out? Yeah, and you I just wanted, wanted to show, to show us that something. It's not just fruit. You know, it's it's produce as well. You can see that they have conventional beets here, but they also have the organic beets. And the organic beets, the PLU code starts with the number nine. So you know, you know, rather quickly that this is an organic product. So is that important for people to, to look at uh, these uh, tags and these numbers? It is. I mean, it just kind of gives you a sense if you can't find the uh, description anywhere, if it, if it is organic or not, you can, you know, you can pretty much safely assume that it's it's going to be organic if it starts with a nine. Um, so it makes it a little easier okay. for the consumer. And, and you were saying that this is a hot topic these days. Uh, you, you've heard people talking about it on the Internet. Yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of been all over uh, the, some of the social media sites. And so uh, people are just starting to get It's all about more awareness. And uh, we're at an all-time high in terms of awareness. So you, you find these little tidbits of information and people just run with it. All right. Well, thank you so much. I didn't know, uh, guys, that those numbers uh, meant all the things that they do mean. So I think I'm going to be uh, looking at things a little differently in the produce department okay. from now on. Yeah, all it's right. a good heads up for sure. Uh, yeah.
Yeah, I'm not totally sold on this organic stuff. It looks undernourished. <laughs> it's like this big. <laughs> I don't know. This one looks pretty it? good. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at those. Look well, at those. Maybe they're getting better. Those are pretty no, good. Huh? Those do what look are, like pretty good strawberries. Are those cherry tomatoes? Yeah. Oh, those are strawberries. <laughs> no, these okay. are a strawberry.